New tonight, eliminating diversity, equity, and inclusion questions from school applications. Now, this is what some Georgia Senate Republicans want to do, but critics say it would be a step backwards. 11 Alive's Doug Richards breaks down both sides of the discussion tonight. This bill is part of a national conservative backlash against efforts to make diversity, equity, and inclusion part of public education and hiring. Just for fun, Republican State Senator Greg Dolezal says he filled out online applications to teach at two Georgia colleges. He says each of them asked for his resume and asked him to include a statement about his commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. They asked you basically to, to swear your allegiance to DEI. Dolezal says it was immaterial to the job of teaching. Uh, what's wrong with uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion? It's a, it's a litmus test to, that essentially asks you to prescribe to the woke agenda in that's obviously part of the, a part of the battle that we're facing in education all over the country. Dolezal introduced a bill he calls the End Political Litmus Tests in Education Act. The bill would outlaw public schools and state colleges from requiring applicants to pass a political test soliciting an applicant to identify a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. You have to meet the diversity, equity, inclusion, social justice requirements. You have to take some woke course. Fox News and other conservative outlets have railed against diversity, equity, and inclusion. Dolezal says DEI questions can disqualify politically conservative applicants. Without a doubt, they, it is immediately, uh, you immediately associate uh, diversity and inclusion with race. And, and, and my point is that it should not. Jason Estevez chaired the Atlanta Board of Education for four years. He says Dolezal's bill is misguided. But in education, that, that could also mean how to include students with disabilities in, in the conversation, how to include the most quietest child in your classroom, and how to include the most active child in your classroom. Dolezal's bill has two dozen co-sponsors, including some of the Senate's most powerful Republicans. No Democrats. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.